And so off the tip, it's Toronto. Now, let's take a look at Nashville's opening lineup. They've got Sexton, Aaron Baines out there with Williams, and it's Dantley in at the three. And now in transition, here's Williams. Here we go. Hero, no good. And so it's Davis. He'll bring the ball up for Toronto. The three for Doncic. And the rebound goes to Nashville. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. Pass to Hero. Down low, here's Williams, and finished off by Williams. Slashing with purpose there. After setting that screen, Williams knows where to position himself in these sets. Doncic feeling it out. Well, being aggressive and assertive, the big man snatching the rebound. Here's Dentley. Oh, he just jams it right over LeBron. Wow. Well, a nice job by Colin Sexton to find the open man. You want to see court awareness from the young gun. Nashville shooting their first free throw of the game right now. And Toronto making a change here. Paul's checked in. Here in the first, a little over a minute played so far. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Here's Harden. Score the basket. Nice shot after missing his first attempt. Inside, outside, Harden will attack you from anywhere. Nice play. Paul against Sexton. Williams trying to break free. That shot off. Some solid D from Paul. And Harden wide open. He shoots at three off the mark. Really just struggling here in the first few minutes. Five attempts with only one falling. The first quarter of action, two minutes in. And Davis throws it down. And really with the off-the-charts explosiveness, Davis just punishes opponents on those alley-oops. And we heard Shaquille O'Neal bestow his Superman nickname on Giannis Antetokounmpo, and rightfully so. The Greek freak, the most dominant paint scorer since Shaq himself. Here's Hero. Here's Baines. And the dunk and by Baines. Baines. Well, if you don't take care of the ball, fellas, that's what can happen. Absolutely, Greg. That makes the turnover even more painful. At the end of the day, though, it's two points. Don't hang your heads. Let's get refocused and play with more patience. Hits the three-point bomb. And it's all knotted up. And watching Antetokounmpo get to the rim, can G.A. take your breath away? <laughs> Man, he can go around you, through you, or literally jump right over you. Call him the freak, Superman, what have you. And none of it feels like an exaggeration. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. First one falls for him, and it's a completely new group for Toronto. Good on both. Boy, a really soft touch on display. It is a luxury to have a big man who can hit from the line at a consistent rate. Lillard from outside. 
rebound by Williams. And so it's Nashville with it. Here's Hero. And there's the slam dunk to finish it off. Making the most of the screen. That's how it's done. And it's in the perfect spot, Greg. Frees him up to get all the way to the bucket. Where was the defense? No fighting through the pick. No rotation. My goodness. To the inside. And Jokic slams it in. Well, we know Kawhi will always attract lots of defensive attention, which puts him in a position to find his teammates pretty pass. Well, he's such a good athlete for a center. It's how he's able to succeed despite being one of the smallest fives in the NBA. Outside Leonard. To the middle. Here's Siakam. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Well, Greg, Pascal Siakam won most improved player in the league in 2019. And as we've talked about, had a case for it again in the 2020 voting. I tell you, Siakam's play jumped so much again. He deserved the recognition. He continued to press himself to be an elite forward. Rare for a former MIP winner to even be considered for the award more than once. Luka Doncic, he's checked in for Russell Westbrook. Here's Lillard. That's tipped. Wow, Patrick Beverly, barely six feet. Send it back, young Patrick. It's blocked. And so it looks like the Raptors will retain possession here. An outstanding defensive play to earn the mobile one block. And, and early in a game, these sorts of plays really can set the tone. Here's what Toronto's going with right now. Tatum, he's checked in for Siakam. And it's Jimmy Butler in for Kawhi Leonard. Here's Butler. And he uses the glass on the way. And that ties it up. Yeah, what a great decision by Jason Tatum. That passing ability is important to complement his scoring ability. Such a multi-talented threat on the offensive end. And you love his confidence. And the Raptors with possession. Lillard outside. Over Beverly. With the putback. Jokic on the follow. Uh, such a savvy player. Love watching Jokic battle for positioning on the offensive glass. Three seconds separate the shot clock and game clock. Offensive rebound. Walker. Great D that time from Tatum. Fast break Toronto. Doncic leading the charge. Over Allen. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. Well, Luka Doncic, from the moment he stepped between the lines in the NBA, has flashed incredible potential and skill. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. The way he's shooting free throws tonight, you simply don't want to put him there. And here's Beverly. Shoots over Lillard. And it's good. But hold on. The officials may want to look at that one on the replay monitor. And it looks like they are going to review the play. The question, did he get the basket off in time? And the footage relayed to the officials from the replay center in Secaucus, I, I, I think he got it off in time. The, re the replay leaving little doubt. And the call is going to be overturned. The second look shows that he did, in fact, beat the clock. Yeah, they're glad they're going to get those points. It wasn't too long ago that they wouldn't even have looked at it on the monitor. But replays here, and it's here to stay. And that concludes a high-scoring first quarter with both teams tied up. And we'll get things started in the second quarter when we return. And we hope you're enjoying the game. Both teams tonight keeping things pretty even so far on the scoreboard. We're taking a look here at the Raptors' performance here, guys. Uh, what have they been doing or, or not doing in your opinion? Well, going to the bench early, they obviously knew what they were doing. As a coach, I think you get a certain feel for what your team needs. And credit this guy for not waiting around. He went ahead and made the adjustment. Damian Lillard out there with Doncic. And there's Jimmy Butler. Then it's Tatum, and it's Jokic in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. So that's the five in the game for Toronto. And Stoudemire, a dunking machine out there. Remarkable at getting the position he needs to bring that one home. 
Good job attacking. Those restricted area shots are what every NBA team is looking for. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Nashville shooting their fourth and fifth shots at the foul line in the game. And the first one drops. And we know Patrick Beverly is one of those guys you love having him on your team. But if you're an opponent, you absolutely despise this guy's toughness and the way he embraces the defensive end of the floor. Patrick Beverly has dug it out of the dirt and created a great career. Catching up on the changes for Toronto, Davis has checked in for Jokic. Antetokounmpo comes in for Tatum. LeBron's checked in for Jimmy Butler. And Paul's subbed in for Lillard. Well, the mid-range is always a good option for Chris Paul. Beverly, the pass to Stoudemire. And Stoudemire slams it in. Man, can you always depend on him or what to lead you to the right place with that pass? Money. And Ray Allen gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul. James Harden, he's checked in for Toronto. James Harden! Here's Paul. Now Harden passes it to Anadokounmpo. The shot that time, not on target. Walker with some nice D. Here's Stoudemire. And the rejection by James. Oh, you watch LeBron. Not a prolific shot blocker. But when he wants to get it done, he is emphatic. Allen, that's good. And without looking at the scoreboard, you think they were the team trailing and trying to fight their way back. And Ray Allen gets the whistle that time. That's foul number two for him. To a certain extent, you like the aggressiveness, but that's two fouls already. Take a step back. A platoon swap here for Nashville. Antetokounmpo can't get it to go. Nashville leading by five. Here's Hero. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Cans it from downtown. And he found the perfect spot behind the arc there. Big gap in the D. James outside. Paul against Sexton. Back to LeBron. They need this. Shooting foul. As the whistle blows, he'll shoot two free throws. Imagine LeBron gets a step on you. It must be like a steam engine coming at you to the rim. All you can do is foul him. The Raptors shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. And some changes here for the Raptors. Siakam is checked in front of Dekumbo. And Russell Westbrook is subbed in for Paul. And both free throws good for LeBron. It just seems like LeBron James doesn't age. Still so dominant in the second half of his career. This guy is incredible in virtually every statistical category. Sexton dishes to Williams. Oh, taking it to the rack with power and hammering down the two-hand slam. Now here's Westbrook. Jam down as he goes right over Baines. Now the superb athleticism of Russell Westbrook on full display. The vertical out of this world. 156 left to play in the first half. And the foul called on Russell Westbrook. That is his first foul of the game. And some changes here for the Raptors. Kawhi Leonard comes in for LeBron. And Lillard subbed in for Russell Westbrook. Here's Hero. Shot clock at five. They get it back. And so it's Davis. He'll bring the ball up for Toronto. They trail by six. Back to Leonard. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. When the story of Kawhi Leonard is told, it will be about the hard work being the secret of his success. Here was a guy who was not the most vaunted prospect in either high school or college. But boy, he kept his eyes on what he was after, and he kept working. Here's what Toronto's going with right now. Jokic has checked in for Anthony Davis. Tatum comes in for Pascal Siakam. And it's Butler in for James Harden. 
Stoudemire's gone three for five from the field. And Doris, you were talking about Leonard's work ethic. Going back to San Diego State, he used to come in at 6.30 in the morning. No lights on in the gym, so he brought his own lamps. I mean, the guy was dedicated. <laughs> no doubt, Kevin, and that has been the through line of his career. First to practice, last to leave. He has that hunger to improve, the drive and the desire to put in the time to be great. There's a price to be paid, and he's willing to pay it. Nobody near Allen. And again, it's Nashville from deep. Yeah, they're relying on their three-point shooting and getting pretty good results. Walker against Leonard. The kick out to Tatum. Lillard outside. Jokic trying to free himself up. And with that, the Nashville lead is cut down now to just five on the basket from Damian Lillard. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. It's rebounded by Leonard. And the foul on Amari Stoudemire. That's his first foul of the game, and the bonus will go to the free throw line. And this is his third trip to the line tonight. An extraordinary improvement over the course of his career by Kawhi Leonard. He has now turned himself into one of the game's best, if not the best, two-way player. Doncic has checked in for the Raptors. And Beverly kicks to Luwawu Cabarro. 15 seconds left here in the second. Outside, Walker, pass to Luwawu. Now here's Allen. Guarded by Doncic, and they force the shot clock violation. Great team. Toronto with the ball, and a deep three from Lillard. And that'll do it for the first half of competitive game so far. Nashville out in front, up by three, and will return shortly. third quarter as we've seen so far neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard yet without question Aaron Baines displaying his skills today yeah I don't know if there's anything that the league can do to slow him down he, he's just that good well perhaps the most impressive thing has been his incredible consistency this guy is a great player who always brings a ton of energy what a great half Tipping off the second half, here's J.B. Bickerstaff's five. We've got Hero. Williams is out the out there with Aaron Baines. Then there's Sexton. And it's Dantley in at the small forward position. Here's Dantley. Oh, he jams it right over Giannis onto the Kumbo. Wow! And talk about putting some extra on it. That dunk was way over the top. Close game or not, he's going to finish firm when he gets the space. James, the pass to Giannis. Loads it up for Giannis. Up high to stop the alley-oop. And one of the most athletic players in the league. Giannis makes those alley-oop jams look easy. And there's the call on Giannis Antetokounmpo. That is his first foul of the game. Chris Paul, he's checked in for Lillard. Defense doesn't get much better than the mobile one block we just saw on replay. And he's all over that shot. Has it read the whole way and gets the position he needs to make a play. And a minute played as the second half gets going. Sexton against Paul. Sexton kicks to Baines. Back to Sexton. Off target from three-point range. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Baines. And here's James. He'll bring it up for Toronto. It's a one-point game. It's three-on-three on the fast break. 
Here's Dentley. Nice pass. Nice catch and a resounding dunk. Well, that's why they're in front. Uh, aggressive play at both ends. Nicely done. Just over a minute and a half played here in the third. So timeout called here. The first for Toronto. Uh, adjustments are a part of the game, and the coach sees something he doesn't like here. Well, this is a chess match. Looking ahead a few moves and trying to execute toward that. On the heel, he's checked in for Tyler Hero. Sexton against Paul. Second chance shot. Out to the Kumbo. No good. Nashville leading by three. The pass to Sexton. And there's the feet to Baines. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. And you don't ever want to get into the habit of letting the offense get to the rim. Nashville shooting their sixth and seventh free throws in the game. And that one misses. And Toronto making a change here. Siakam's checked in. Good on the second free throw. Into the third we go. Two minutes in now. Here's Harden. And the rebound goes to Nashville. Baines has got rebound number five here tonight. Sexton is a point guard. It is his job to share the wealth, and he does there. Harden with it. Whistle blows. Bucket is good, and he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. And how's that for a move? The killer crossover. That's a thing of beauty. Nashville leading by three. Here's Sexton, and Sexton slams it in. Well, if you've got the speed of Colin Sexton, put the ball on the deck and make sure you make good use of it. Well, we're into the third quarter, just over two and a half minutes played. Butler, he's checked in for Toronto. Here's Davis. Lets it up. Off the inbound. Got that bucket. Davis has got his second bucket of the night. Boy, Pascal Siakam plays at his own pace, able to find the open man. Beverly, the pass to Walker. And that one is good. And Nashville leads by five. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. Harden with it. And Allen picks him up defensively. And Davis gets it to go. Davis has got six points. If there's a list of the best inside scorers in the NBA, Davis has got to be right at the top. When he gets his hands on the ball down low, you might as well just count it. This is his second trip to the free throw line. The first one falls. A new group in now for the Raptors. Jokic has checked in for Davis. Kawhi Leonard comes in for Pascal Siakam. Tatum, he's checked in for Jimmy Butler. And Doncic is subbed in for James Harden. Paul passes to Doncic. The second chance effort. And that's out of bounds. Toronto will retain possession. Miller is checked in for Paul. Just over three and a half minutes through the third quarter of play now. Tatum no good. Uh, more good work on the glass there. When it's all said and done, I think rebounding might tell the story in this game. Here's Beverly, and he goes in for the dunk. And, and creating a little separation here, gaining some confidence. Well, if you continue to execute at both ends, you can build on this lead. 105 left to play here in the third. Lillard dishes to Leonard. And Dodgers, here we go. That's good, and it's Leonard with the assist. 
Boy, what body control from the Slovenian forward. Doncic comfortable taking on all challengers. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. So far, he's hit all of his shots at the foul line, going four for four. That's good from Beverly. And the Raptors making a change here. Paul's checked in. And so he's able to get one of two. Toronto trails by six. Leonard with the ball. He's picked up by Walker. And Leonard gets it to go on the assist by Tatum. Leonard's got seven. Kawhi Leonard's length and shot-making ability on the interior is problematic for the defense. Allen's shot is off. And here's Tatum. He'll bring it up for the Raptors. Good ball movement here by the Raptors. And Doncic throws it down. Oh, an aggressive move and fantastic finish. Mm -hmm. Trying to send a message with that slam, I think. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Beverly against Paul. And Beverly kicks to Allen. Six on the shot clock. Here's Walker. They get a hand on it. Let's it go from 14. Stoudemire right side. And wrestling for it there, but no one has possession. We'll have a jump ball. That's tipped, and Toronto has possession. And as we conclude the third quarter, what a game, neither team giving ground. Nashville leads by two. We're going to step aside for just a second, but join us right back here for the start of the fourth quarter next. And it's time to bring up the State Farm assist of the game. And the definition of teamwork right there, guys. I mean, what great communication between them and what a beautiful feat. Nothing better than chemistry, right? Working together to create a bucket. Well, what a terrific game it's been so far with this fourth quarter sure to bring more pressure-packed basketball. A moment now to reset the lineups brought to us by Gatorade, all fueled up here for the fourth quarter. So for Toronto right now, Jokic is up there with Antetokounmpo. Then it's Damian Lillard. Then there's Luka Doncic. And it's Leonard in at the three slot. And Greg, we see a lot of jilted fan bases, don't we? Angry at the superstar who left. But you know what? That's not the story with the Raptors fans toward Kawhi Leonard. Kevin, he probably did more for that city in one season than others did over their entire careers. Their first title, Kawhi with a legendary playoff performance, not to mention the shot heard around the world, one of the greatest buzzer beaters in playoff history. The best scorers in the game have the ability to get to the free throw line. Kawhi Leonard lives there. Lillard's checked in for Toronto. Kawhi Leonard. Leonard hits them both. And so it's Nashville with it. Sexton attacking. And Sexton slams it in. Well, just a little bit of momentum and Sexton going right to the rim. And here are the Raptors now. They trail by one. And here is LeBron. Knocks it down from seven feet. They are just killing them on the interior. About a minute played here in the fourth quarter. Pass to Dantley. Oh, he just jams it right over LeBron. Wow. Guys, what a game. Eight lead changes here. And don't be surprised if it comes down to the last possession. Dantley's gone a perfect six of six shooting. Leonard on the wing. He's guarded by Williams. The three for Doncic. That's good, and it's Leonard with the assist. Doncic has got the lead up to two now for Toronto. Doncic has gone 50% from the arc, one of two. Here's Hero. Under the Kumbo defending. From deep. The shot will not fall. 
Now Toronto takes it the other way. Here's LeBron, and LeBron throws it down. There's a certain resiliency to this team, and, and you're starting to see it. No doubt keeping it very close. They're going to have to step up even more to get over the hump here. Sexton, the pass to Dantley. Oh! Mm. And guys, this is turning into one of those nights for Dantley. He is on a roll, and we all know once he gets hot, he will wear down an opponent. Fourth quarter of play, and we're about two and a half minutes through it right now. And the Raptors call time here. And team strategies closely guarded. One aspect of the game the fans aren't always privy to. It's tough to hide your communications. Teams go to great lengths to try to do it, but sometimes to no avail. Davis has checked in for Leonard. James Harden comes in for Luka Doncic. And Paul subbed in for Lillard. Nashville also making some changes. Walker's checked in for Aaron Baines. Allen comes in for Hero. And it's Patrick Beverly in for Sexton. And on our sideline, our reporter, David Aldridge. Well, during that break, Coach Nick Nurse talked to his team. This game is obviously close, could go either way. And he wanted to make sure that his guys were all on the same page and we're all staying with the game plan in order to close this one out Kevin and so Walker nails both of them and it's Paul with the ball for the Raptors passes to Anadokounmpo he dishes it to Harden another shot and that's off the glass and in and the Raptors lead by two and this is what great players do. Harden understanding how to deliver in a big moment. Beverly against Paul. Huge moment for Patrick Beverly. Wow. Here's Toronto. One fifty-three left to play here in the fourth. And it's slammed in by Davis. Stepping up. Davis is a fantastic option late. You, you know with that height and skill set, he's going to get a good look. And Chris Paul, the bucket on the assist by Davis. Chris Paul is no stranger to delivering in the big moments. Go ahead, CP3. One thirty left here in the fourth quarter. Williams trying to break free. Oh, just solid on the one-handed slam. And guys, when it's a tight ball game like this, he's the guy they want with the ball. Giannis up top, guarded by Walker, kicks it out to Harden. A three ball, Walker with the rebound. Walker's got four rebounds now tonight. And the slam by Williams. How about the confidence? It's just growing in this young man. Williams has that attitude of a go-to guy in these big moments, even though he's still picking up the nuance of the game. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. The coach's challenge has been issued. Close game like this, down to the wire, this is what it's for. And I think when it comes to some of the more difficult calls to make, Personal fouls can be tough. The action is so fast that it's really tough to catch everything in real time. The wonders of technology, Greg. We've seen replay reviews so effectively, and involving the coaches by being able now to challenge like this is something a lot of people have been hoping for. And so the word is in. They've decided that the call stands as it was made on the floor. And, you know, even if a coach still feels this wasn't the right call, you got to acknowledge the effort being put in to reviewing it. The double checking and the game continues on. And 
now a moment to present the New Balance Player of the Game. And in terms of his shooting, this has been one of the more accurate performances you'll ever see. I mean, he's been in constant motion, creating a lot of good looks for himself. But, but still, even when you're wide open, you expect to miss some of the time. That has not been the case here tonight. This guy has made everything. He hits the first one, and that gives them the lead. And really, the, the ceiling for Antetokounmpo is limitless. I mean, he has the potential to be a Hall of Famer one day. Well, in a game this tight, you can't overlook how important those free throws could be. Beverly against Paul. Beverly, the pass to Williams. Yes! So much riding on that shot what a bucket i'll tell you that changes things doesn't it good job young fella what a game and here are the raptors now 44 seconds left in the fourth here's on to Takumbo. nice move here's davis it's in it's just so resourceful as a player, Davis gets the job done inside in all sorts of ways. And that's one of them right there, crashing the offensive glass, getting that second chance bucket. Gives the team such a great element, having a one guard who can get to the 10. Uh, certainly something every team wants to have. Well, you love it. Fearless, aggressive, leaving. No doubt whatsoever. Eight second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. And to Takumbo. And the rebound goes to Nashville. And now here comes Williams leading the break. Oh, my. wow! Young fella. And big time bucket there. They've got to play for a stop here with the two point lead. Most important thing no open three. Toronto calls timeout. They're trailing by two. There's 14 seconds left to play in the final quarter. What do you think, guys? And they've got plenty of time to get a basket. Well, they've got to be aggressive, guys, because the defense doesn't want to foul here. Loads it up for Davis. Oh, wow, a huge basket to tie the game. And I tell you, Antetokounmpo has evolved into one of the better passing forwards in our league. And when the defense is focused on you that much, you need to be able to find the open man. Timeout called, Nashville. Eight seconds left in the fourth quarter. Here's Luwum. Here's Walker. Money! And guys, he's not an easy man to stop when he's got the rim in his sights. Never has been, never will be. He is a determined finisher. So Nashville wins it. They break the hearts of every fan in the building with a dramatic late victory. And, Kevin, this is the kind of win you have to take a ton of pride in. I mean, they battled with everything they had and came through when the pressure was at its highest. And that about wraps it up. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. We'll see you later. I know.